sure and get three spoons, Tommy. Because we're gonna... Oh, hi, Grandma. I was just telling Tommy that nobody can make tapioca pudding as good as you. Oh, good. If that means you'd like that last dish full, you may have it. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Mitchell. Me and Tommy are going to have a picnic with Bobby over at his house. Why doesn't Bobby come over here? He's got the mumps. <laughs> Dennis! Dennis, come back here! Fremont! Fremont! <laughs> Fremont, come here. <laughs> oh, Fremont. You know, Martha, I think I'll start teaching uh, Fremont a few of the simple commands like sit, stand, and lie down. And then I'll teach him to stop jumping on people and making a nuisance of himself. That's just his way of being friendly. Well, it's also a sign of an untrained animal. I still think you ought to send him to one of those dog training schools if you're really serious about teaching him to obey you. And waste all that money? Why, Martha, this new book on dog training is so simple that even a dog can understand it. I hope you're right, dear. Oh, you wait and see, Martha. <laughs> Why, Fremont will soon be a rigidly disciplined canine machine obeying his master's every command. <laughs> Let's see now, first, oh yes, make the voice firm. Fremont! I'm afraid Fremont doesn't want to be trained, dear. Well, what he wants doesn't matter. Through the years, man has been the teacher and the beast has been the student. Why, at one time, not so long ago, the domesticated cow used to be a wild beast. Do you know what changed him? He found out he was a girl. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. There you are, Fremont. <laughs> All right, now, Fremont, when I give the command, I want you to sit. <laughs> no, no, Fremont, no, wait till I give the command. <laughs> Maybe he's read the book, dear. <laughs> oh, Martha. <laughs> All right, Fremont. <laughs> Now, Fremont, sit. Now, stand. Now, sit. Now, stand. Now, sit. Now, stand. All right, now, Martha, you watch this. All right, Fremont, sit. Oh, good grief. No, no, Fremont. All right, then stand. <laughs> All right, then sit. <laughs> oh, Martha, I wonder if the knucklehead who wrote this book ever owned a dog. It's hopeless. Fremont. <laughs> oh, Fremont, come on out here. Thank you, dear. All right, Fremont, now lie down. Down, lie down. <laughs> Maybe Fremont's not tired, Mr. Wilson. Oh, Dennis. Dear, Mr. Wilson is teaching Fremont to obey him. Oh, what have you taught Fremont so far, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> so far, I've taught him to crawl under the sofa. Now, don't bother me. <laughs> Can I help train Fremont, Mr. Wilson? No, of course you can't. Why, yes, yes, Dennis. Why, yes, you can help me train Fremont. I can? Well, as a matter of fact, you can do more than just help me. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, 
You see this book, Dennis? Tells all about how to train dogs. Keepers, pictures, and everything. That's right, pictures and everything. Now, you take this book and Fremont along home with you, and uh, if you can teach him anything at all, I'll give you a whole quarter. A whole quarter? Wow! <laughs> George Wilson. Oh, Martha, please. Now, you just follow the simple directions, Dennis. You can't go wrong. Keepers a whole quarter. <laughs> Come on, Fremont. <laughs> George Wilson, the idea. You know Dennis won't be able to train Fremont. Well, Martha, you know it and I know it, but Dennis doesn't know it. And with any kind of luck at all, that silly book will keep Dennis out of my hair for a week. George Wilson, I'm ashamed of you. You know, I'm a little ashamed of myself, Martha, taking advantage of a defenseless little dog like that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you listen to me, Fremont. Stay. Stay, Fremont. Now walk away and see if he stays there. Okay. <laughs> Don't you think he followed me a little slower that time? Maybe a little. Hey, why don't we give him an examination and see if dumb old Fremont's learned anything at all for sure? That's a swell idea, Tommy. Okay, Fremont. Sit. Down. Come. Stay. Well, that gives Fremont a big fat zero for today. And that's just what I'm gonna get from good old Mr. Wilson instead of that quarter. Gee, Dennis. You gotta teach him something. It's your turn to buy the next bag of jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. Tommy, I wonder what makes jelly beans so good. Search me, but someday I'm gonna have a big farm and grow nothing but jelly beans. Because, <laughs> Tommy, you can get sick on jelly beans every day of your whole life. Yeah. When was the last time you got sick on jelly beans, Dennis? I feel kind of sick right now. Me too. Fremont. 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 Here, Fremont. <laughs> now come on, Fremont. Now I'll make him sit. Sit, Fremont. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? The front half of him was almost trained there for a minute. Do you feel real sick yet? Heck no. Me neither. <laughs> isn't as dumb as he's trying to act. Oh, look, Fremont wants another one. Jeepers, Tommy, the whole world must love jelly beans. Yeah, all except my dad. He hates them. I bet old Fremont would do anything for a jelly bean. Dennis, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fremont, if you sit down, I'll give you another jelly bean. <laughs> now, if you lie down, I'll give you two jelly beans. <laughs> Dennis, you've trained Fremont! Jeepers, <laughs> Tommy, good old Fremont just wants to be treated like any other little kid. Isn't it a lovely, quiet afternoon, Martha, without Dennis around? Very quiet, dear. All because of a little ingenuity on my part, getting Dennis to... Me and my big mouth. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Oh, what is it, Dennis? We train Fremont. You what? We train Fremont. 
Oh, you did, did you? <laughs> Where is he? Out getting his diploma? Yes, <laughs> me, Ma. Sit. <laughs> I don't believe it. Stand, Fremont. <laughs> and here's one that's not even in the book. Play dead, Fremont. Fantastic, utterly fantastic. Martha, I told you the author of that book was a genius. <laughs> Dennis, here is your quarter. Thanks, Mr. Wilson. Oh, and Tommy helped me, too. Boy, did I. Oh, well, here's a quarter for you, too, Tommy. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wilson. We better get down to the candy store before it closes. Come on. Are you going to spend all your money for candy? We have to. Fremont ate up all our jelly beans. <laughs> hey, Mr. Wilson, would you like us to teach Fremont to carry in the morning paper for only a dime extra? Oh, perhaps some other time, Dennis. Okay. <laughs> Sit, Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, I have never seen anything like it. I wonder why you couldn't train Fremont, George. Oh, well, it isn't that I couldn't, Martha. It's simply I lost interest. And as Dennis has proven, training a dog is child's play. George, have you noticed that Fremont hasn't moved one inch since Dennis told him to sit? He certainly trained all right. Why, he didn't even jump on me when he ran in. <laughs> Fremont, come here. Fremont! Did you hear me? Fremont, stand! <laughs> Lie down, play dead. He doesn't seem to pay the slightest attention to you. Oh, of course he does, Martha. Come here, Fremont! Yell at him. Uh, well, I'm not yelling, Martha. All right, now, Fremont, stand! <laughs> oh, well, now, come on, Fremont, it's all right. Why, you can even jump up and lick me in the face if you want to. <laughs> Come on, boy. Great Scott, Martha. That insidious little boy has brainwashed my dog. Fremont. <laughs> Oh, come in, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello, Mitchell. <laughs> Is something the matter with Fremont? I gave Dennis a quarter to train Fremont for me, and now I can't do a thing with him. Uh, Dennis? Fremont. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand, Mr. Wilson. Watch. All right, Fremont, stand, lie down, do anything you want to. <laughs> Now, do you understand? My own dog, and all he does is sit and stare at me as though I'm a half-wit. <laughs> Dennis, come down here a minute, please. Coming, Dad! Hi. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi, Fremont. Anybody want a jelly bean? Oh, no, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, I thought you were told not to eat any more jelly beans before dinner. Well, I'm not eating them. I'm just running around with them so they won't get stale. Well, just don't run around with them in your stomach. <laughs> Mr. Wilson's having trouble with his dog. The good old Fremont? That animal won't do anything but sit since you told him to. Sheepers, he won't. Come here, Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> with good old Fremont, Mr. Wilson. Fremont, come here. <laughs> well, he ignores me completely. Shame on you, Fremont. That's good old Mr. Wilson over there. <laughs> Well, the only thing I can suggest, Mr. Wilson, is that you take the dog home and train him all over again so that he'll mind you instead of Dennis. I suppose you're right, Mitchell. Here, Fremont. <laughs> oh. Fremont. <sighs> Mr. Wilson, here. Try giving Fremont some jelly beans. 
Dennis, I refuse to stoop to bribery to make my own dog obey me. <laughs> All right, Fremont, now watch me just once more. Down. Down, Fremont. You see? You see, Fremont? All right, now you try. Come on, down, Fremont. Down. <laughs> George, do you realize it's after midnight? Uh, oh, I'll be up in a few minutes, dear. I'm trying an entirely new approach to the problem. Is Fremont obeying you any better? Well, at least he stopped growling at me. <laughs> oh, uh, Martha? Yes, dear? Oh, well, never mind. Good night, Martha. <laughs> Good night, dear. All right, Fremont. <laughs> oh, Fremont, come on, wake up. <laughs> now, listen, this is no picnic for me either, you know. Now, come on, now watch me. Now, look. Da oh, down. 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 Let's both take a five-minute rest. <laughs> since I was two. Maybe we could teach him to get the newspaper. Are you kidding? That mutt couldn't carry in his leash if one end was fastened to his collar. Go get the newspaper, Mr. Wilson. Fremont, he's doing it! I'll give you two to one odds. He slobbers all over it. <laughs> Look at that! What did I tell you? Don't tell me he's torn up the newspaper again. <laughs> George Wilson, can't you ever do anything right? <laughs> George, George, wake up, dear. Martha, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll try it with my mouth. A little... George. Huh? Where am I? You must have fallen asleep on the floor. You must have been dreaming. <laughs> now come on upstairs, dear. Yes, Martha. Oh, one minute, dear. Wake up, Fremont. Next time you can carry your own darn paper in. <laughs> I'm making some more toast, boys. Now that's what I call a perfect cup of coffee, Mrs. Mitchell. Oh, well, thank you, dear. When am I going to be able to drink coffee? <laughs> About the same time you start supporting your old man. Now drink up your milk. Anybody home? Hey, that sounds like good old Mr. Wilson. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi, Fremont. Oh, I you out so early, Mr. Wilson. Mitchell, I would like to give Fremont to Dennis. You what? Keepers. 
to say, Mr. Wilson. Say yes, Dad, Now, hold on a minute, young man. All I ask is that Dennis take good care of Fremont. Oh, I will, I will! <laughs> Are you sure, Mr. Wilson? I'm sure, Mitchell. And thank you. See, the animal will be happier with a small boy. Mr. Wilson thought Fremont didn't like him anymore. Jeepers! Who wouldn't like good old Mr. Wilson? Yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> I bet you do too like good old Mr. Wilson. And he loves you. You know something, Dad? Who wants a used old dog anyway? I was hoping you'd come around to that way of thinking, son. Now, the only problem we have is to get Fremont to act like he likes Mr. Wilson again. Hey, Dennis, remember how mad Fremont got at us that time we gave him that bubble bath? <laughs> yeah, and how he always runs home and hides on Mr. Wilson's lap when Miss Cathcart's mean old cat chases him? Boy, does he. Tommy, I'll get the water running in the tub. You go visit good old Miss Cathcart. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Fremont. <laughs> It seems odd without Fremont being on the foot, doesn't it, dear? Huh? Oh, well, I really hadn't noticed. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like a little something to eat? No, thank you, Martha. I'm not very hungry. It's such a warm, lovely day. Wouldn't you like to take a little walk? No, I, I don't feel like it, dear. George, Dennis will understand. Go and bring Fremont home. Martha, I, I can't. Fremont isn't my dog any longer. He, well, he doesn't like me anymore. Oh, I don't believe that for one second. Well, it's true. He didn't even bother to wag his tail when he saw me this morning. And you know how he always used to wag his tail and jump up on me every time he saw me. Oh, uh, just being silly. Well, it is not silly at all. Why, he treats me like I'm some old bone he's gotten tired of. <laughs> I miss Fremont, too. Well, I'm sorry, Martha. But the only way I'll take Fremont back is if he comes home to me of his own free will. George, what was that? Stopped liking you. Oh, oh, you crazy dog, you.
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.